Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are taking a look at some of the best new note-taking apps. So these are newer apps that I have tested out and most of them are from last year. We have things like Tana, Anytype inside of here and even Capacities. But the first app we are going to take a look at is actually called Affine or Affine. I'm still not sure how you should pronounce it. However, this is an amazing app. It has the basic page structure, which you might be familiar with if you have used Notion. You have um, you have databases inside of here as well. It is again open source. You have backlinking inside of this app as well. But the best part about this app is not actually any of these features, uh, even not not even the smart uh, collections, which are basically smart folders. The coolest feature about this app is that everything can be turned into a graph and the things you change in the graph also gets changed on the page. So let's say you wanted to write an essay, for example, let's jump into this. I wanted to make this into an essay. I could uh, start writing inside of here and then I could change my settings so that everything I do inside of this right here will also appear on the page which is amazing. Overall the it has a lot of great features it is still in the beta phase so there will take uh, there will be some time until it is at the level it is supposed to be um, but as of right now it offers something that a lot of different note-taking apps do not offer and that is simply a way to both have mind maps and page structure and interact with content in both ways so interact with the same content in um, mind map as you would do inside of um, inside of your uh, page. The next app we are going to take a look at is actually a really, really new one. This is in really early stage. It is in early access and the app is called Lazy. It is only available for Mac, but I did a video on it quite recently. And this is a game changer for note taking. So the way this app works is that it uses keyboard shortcuts for almost everything. And you can capture everything from transcribing a YouTube video using the lazy AI. So just by pressing command L and com and getting a transcript. So that is backslash and transcript. Again, I'm showing all of that in the video. You can actually get the content and the transcript of a YouTube video. Uh, every time you capture an article, it captures the author of that article. And this is huge. It is probably the best capturing I've ever seen in any note-taking app. There are still some things that need to become a little bit better, but this app is amazing and it it is one of, if not the best uh, early access app I have tested out and I have tested out quite a few of them, even though the website could probably need a little bit of an Im improvement or at, at least a little bit more information inside of here. There is almost nothing on the website. It is early access, so you will need to get an invite from the team. They have a great onboarding and they show you how to use the app, but honestly, I am so excited for this app. It costs around ten dollars uh, each month, and it is just an amazing app that does something that none of the other apps are doing, and that is why I am actually making this video. So all of these apps I've chosen to include inside of here offer something new because there are a lot of other new note-taking apps that have gain a little bit of hype, but in my opinion, they just do the same things as some of the other apps that are already out there. The apps I am talking about in this video, in my personal opinion, are apps that do something a little different. The next one is Tama, and Tama is great at capturing as well. They have, just like Lazy, a mobile capture app, and it is 
also still early days for Tadna, but you have this today uh, view where you actually can uh, jot things down, ideas, uh, everything you want to, and just by adding a tag to this, uh, like I've done here, so all of these are tagged resources. Let me just spell that out right. I actually, I have actually spelled it wrong in all of my videos, and I just today got an email about it, so now I have to go in and actually change everything. <laughs> so, resources. Anyways, um, all of these are tagged with the resources, and just by doing a quick um, search, a live query, you can get this in a database format. So it offers both outlining and databases. Again, something a lot of apps do not do. And you can pin different things into here. So here I have a list of all of the apps. I have uh, a list for all of the social media ideas. I'm actually not using this on a day-to-day -day basis, but I have some content in it for different YouTube videos. So this offers something really, really cool, which is the ability to both have tags, uh, both have outlines and quick capturing, and also have databases like you have in Notion. The next app is actually an app that I... I wanted to include this because this is an app that doesn't actually become uh, your second uh, brain. Uh, this is an app that... So this app right here, I wanted to include it. It is called Tooth and it is not an app you actually go into thinking that this will become your second brain. This is an app that actually is you just use it and it becomes your second brain because capturing is so easy. It is lightweight. It is fun to use. Uh, and a lot of people have been trying this out, me included, and suddenly they had a lot of information inside of it. Some people have actually made this their main note-taking app. So this is actually great for daily uh daily journaling, bullet journal style, and I wanted to include it because I think the app is really good and it offers a lightweight experience that a lot of other note-taking apps do not. This, they call it just a place to write things down and having an option for just writing things down without putting too much thought into it is actually amazing for a tool like this and it is something I think a lot of people could benefit from. That's why I have chosen to include this in here even though it is not as complex as the other apps I am covering in this video. The next one is AnyType. I was actually going to show you the app, but I can't open it on my computer for some reason. But AnyType is sort of like Notion, only local. So imagine uh, imagine Obsidian and Notion having a baby. That's AnyType. Amazing application, super fast because it is local, also open source. So if that is something you like, uh, AnyType is a great app for you, you have databases inside of here, and this is object-based note-taking. So it might take a couple of weeks or even days or even months to get used to an app like this, but um, object-based note-taking really makes sense what, once you get into it. Uh, another thing that this uh, has now is templates and their gallery. They released a new um, update yesterday, or I think it's two days ago, something like that, with a web clipper, a gallery, and some mobile features, which is amazing. So if you're looking for a private open source sort of Notion-like application, this is probably the best one out there. The last app I am covering in this video is actually called Capacities, and this is also an object-based note-taker, quite similar to Notion. You can get things uh, in databases here as well, with filters, just like in any type or in Notion. Sort, you can get it as a list, as a wall, uh, as a gallery, or uh, as a table, which is what I prefer. 
as you can see here these are different uh objects and you have daily notes inside of here as well you have a calendar page which is great for just uh capturing things and writing things down and then you can organize it later uh, i haven't actually ever gotten into this app i know that it is amazing and i've played around with it but it just didn't make any sense for me personally uh, but overall amazing application and um, a great choice if you're looking for a new note-taking app it has everything you would want from a graph view to backlinking to databases so and it is focused on the object-based note-taking so if that is something that resonates with you and you like the sort of database page structure this is an amazing application to try out as usual thank you so much for watching today's video if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and i will try to get to them as soon as i can thank you so so much for watching today's video